everyone and welcome to Lavellia's Coloring. This is the third part of my coloring book collection and I will begin with my Korean and Chinese coloring books and then we'll continue with the bigger sized coloring books and then we'll see how much time I have for this part and I might add some more. Um, I do have to let you know that my soon to be three year old son is here in the room with me as I record. Um, it's Monday, my, two of my kids are already at school and my oldest is getting ready for her class at the college. So yeah, you, so you'll hear him uh, running around behind me. You might also hear construction. Um, they're, they tore down on the forest behind my, tr my house and they're developing um, a new neighborhood, new um, home. So um, just in case you do hear that in the background, I apologize. Okay, so um, I'm beginning to wonder how many parts this collection will be. So I'll go ahead and start and I'll be right back. The first Korean coloring book I want to share with you is called Forest Girls Coloring Book by April. You may uh, recognize her book um, through Instagram or through um, the color tube from other um, channels uh, where they do flip throughs uh, of this book or um, they may have videos of um, themselves coloring in it. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, you'll notice on the left side is um, April's painting and then on the right side is the illustration of that painting and you can either um, color your own version on this side or uh, color the same colors that she has on hers yeah so this is a really thick book it has a lot of pages a lot of illustrations for you um, I like looking at it as an art book also just looking at her examples of how she colored um, the illustrations and just enjoying her um, her line art. Okay, so this is Forest Girls Coloring Book by April. The next book is also by April. Uh, this is the Forest Girls Coloring Book. It's the premium edition, and um, this is just uh, sorry. <laughs> this edition pretty much means that um, the paper is of a, a higher quality where you can use watercolors. Um, to color the images. So it's the same uh, where you have April's uh, painting on this side and her illustrations on this side. Uh, to color the way you want to color it or to follow her color scheme. But yeah, so the paper is pretty thick and um, there's tooth to it. So you can use colored pencils too and they're all one-sided. So I mean, if you want to use markers and don't mind uh, it showing through on the images, image on the other side, yeah, go ahead and do that. But like the other book, this is pretty thick also. It has many images and there's, um, I think there's a couple images in here that are on that are in um, the first book, but um, there's a lot of new ones in here. Yeah. Okay, so this is Forest Girls Coloring Book, the premium edition by April. The next Korean coloring book I want to share with you is by Momo Girl. This is called girls with poem. In the beginning they she shows I guess this is her um, painting or her coloring of the images and then she also has um, she also includes colorings from a lot of people either from uh, Instagram or maybe uh, her Facebook. I don't know if she has a Facebook but um, I'm more familiar with the images that came from Instagram so yeah, and as you look through her books, I mean, it's so cute, it's like, but uh, you can't help but fall in love with her illustration. Yeah. And in the back, um, she also gives you um, single-sided images. 
like these are two page spreads but um, she gives it to you in a smaller size but at least it's all in one page it's another one yeah. so this is um, girls with poem by momo girl the next one i have is also by momo girl this is her newest one called girls with music um, uh, you might have remembered um, me showing this on a um, coloring book haul. Um, like her other one, she shows her um, colorings in the beginning, and then I think she also gives examples from other colorists. Yeah. And like the first one, you can't help but <laughs> fall in love with the illustrations. Yeah. And it's a thick book, like the other, uh, like the first one. Uh, there are a lot of images in here, and I'm sure there are a lot of flip throughs um, already on YouTube that you can go to if you haven't seen this book. And like the first book, it also gives you um, single images, one-sided um, pages. Um, this is a two-page spread in the book, but she gives it to you in, in one page. Yeah. So this is Girls with Music by Momo Girl. The next book I want to share with you is a book, uh, a Korean book I purchased off Amazon.com. Um, when I first saw it, this was about, oh my goodness, like almost three years ago? two or three years I think it was three years ago but it was the first time I s I've seen a Korean book and I got excited and I went ahead and bought it um, it wasn't that much uh, it wasn't like a twenty thirty dollar um, book and I was a uh, I'm kind of pretty um, disappointed <laughs> because the paper is very um, not thin but you can tell um, by the feel of it it's not like the quality that you would find in a, a Korean coloring book and also the um, I remember when I first was flipping through this, the pages um, there were like ink marks on my fingers and there were also smudges in some of the pages in here but um, yeah so uh, this is called uh, fashion uh, illustration I believe and I have it as being illustrated by Kang Min Ji, but I'm not sure if that's correct, but it's all the name brands of fashion, um, and they have like the years of their, um, of the style, of the design of the outfits, of the dresses. Yeah, I mean, they're cute images and stuff, but the quality of the paper, and just knowing that the ink smudges even just with my hands um, on it um, is really disappointing so but, so this is the fashion illustration by Kang Minji the next book is a Chinese coloring book so the next few are also going to be Chinese coloring books um, the title of this one I know it as uh, love sickness but I'm not sure if that's the correct um, uh, the correct translation. I also don't know um, the illustrator's name, so if you know, um, please let me know in the comments below. So it came with um, a colored image um, separate from the book and some sample images of what's what you'll find in this book. It did come apart a little bit, but it's okay. Um, Oh, so I really love all the illustrations in here. You have uh, some dark lines and some uh, light, fine lines for like the flowers. Yeah, and I also like how this book um, also has um, men in here. Like this one, I don't know, he could be a guy or a girl, kind of. but I think this is a guy. Um, here's another one. Yeah, and then in the back, it also shows you some um, colored, 
colored um, examples of the illustrations. It looks like they used watercolor. Yeah. It's a really beautiful book. So this is Love Sickness. This book is called A Dream of Deities, Graceful Ancient Style Chinese Coloring Book. It is illustrated by Da Da Mao. And this is uh, um, one that's like fantasy like uh, illustrations. You have magical creatures. I believe it's like Chinese gods and goddesses. And so a lot of beautiful illustrations in here. And they are one-sided, so you can use whatever medium. Um, I mean, I, I would always be careful using like um, any water-based mediums in here, but I'm sure it'll work out and you don't have to worry about ruining the other side. Yeah. Okay, so this is A Dream of Deities, Graceful Ancient Style by Dada Mel. The next one, also illustrated by Dada Mel, is called A Journey of 100 Chinese Ghosts. So this one comes with oh my God, bent, but a little poster of all. Um, Way all of the images on this side colored in, then you have um, this image, this poster. You love the colors in that one. I'll stick this in the back so it'll get flat. Okay. Um, yeah, so this one is like the other one. Um, you have the thumbnails over here. It is also um, fantasy-like. She has like, I don't know what kind of like fox ears. Yeah, it's like a kitsune almost. She's probably like a mermaid. Yeah. And these are also one-sided except, yeah, some of them, they do go on the next page. So just have to look out for that. So this is A Journey of 100 Chinese Ghosts. The next one um, by Da Da Mao is called Dream of Red Mansion. Here you have a little um, preview of some of the images in this book. And what you can use. Yeah, it's kind of like the um, the other two, but it's not uh, fantasy like. I don't think, yeah. And then here, um, like the um, previous book, it comes with a little poster of all the images um, colored. Then you have um, a poster on the other side that you can frame. It's beautiful love the colors in this one yeah so here it's being like a nice winter picture with her uh, like fur lined jacket yeah I guess this one shows all the different books by Dada Mel so this is Dream of Red Mansion the last of my Chinese coloring books I want to share with you is The Coloring Book of Flowers and Sweet Girls, also by Dada Mel. You might have um, seen this in one of my previous videos of uh, my coloring book hauls. You could have also seen this um, through other people's uh, YouTube channels, their flip throughs, and some of them also did um, some uh, videos of them coloring in this book. I think May Brox and CB, CB's. I don't know if it's coloring. Yeah, I just remember CV. <laughs> but yeah, she did a beautiful coloring in here also. So yeah. So this is Coloring Book of Flowers and Sweet Girls by Dada Mao. 
The next one I want to share with you is called Fantasia by Nicholas F. Chandra Rianata. This is the second edition. Um, right now on Amazon, you can find uh, the third edition there, which is um, uh, single sided. The one I have has uh, an image on both sides. So, yeah. A lot of interesting. Um, illustrations by Nick I think he also goes by Nick Filbert but I really love his um, uh, drawings of the women like this one yeah. and there are many flip throughs of this on YouTube so okay so this is Fantasia by Nicholas F. Chandra Rianata my next book I have is also by Nicholas F. Chandrian Sandra Vianata. Um, it's called Irene and it comes with a poster. It's signed also. Let's see it right there. Um, yeah. oh. This one's kind of scary, <laughs> but the other side is very beautiful. I don't know if you can see it. Um, I purchased this book through Colorful Birdhouse. Uh, she's based in Washington State um, through her Etsy store, which I'm so glad she did because it came like just like the next day, a couple of days later. But um, these are separated by chapters of um, I think it's his drawing of his emotions as. He travels. Sorry. Yeah. Oops. Yeah. It's a lot of beautiful illustrations. The paper is um, not what you'd expect, like uh, like from his Fantasia or his Serene, but um, it's workable. I used um, Prismas in here and didn't really have that much problem. Yeah. So this is Irene by Nicholas Filbert, Chandru, Sandra Vianata. My next book is also by Nicholas uh, Chandra Vianata. It's called Serene. And this is also another popular book. Uh, Color and Chat with Sammy did a lot of beautiful, gorgeous colorings in here. And I also purchased this on Etsy through Colorful Birdhouse. So. Yeah. So this is Serene by Nicholas F. Chandra Vianata. Okay, so the next few books um, are by Mardell Rubio. The first one I want to share with you is called Silent Night, a Christmas coloring book. I did purchase this to color in um, for this past Christmas. I really fell in love with his um, his illustrations. You find little like doodly faces in there. Yeah. A lot, a lot of lovely uh, illustrations. So this is um, Silent Night Christmas Coloring Book by Mardell Rubio. The next one by Mardell Rubio is called um, Colorful Dream of Mermaids and Seashells, Serena. And um, I did do uh, where I was testing out all my pencils and all my water mediums over here. So yeah. So there are a couple of landscape um, illustrations but the majority of them are of mermaids you do uh, find some guys in here like this one and they are single sided and the paper I, I had no problem with the paper so paper are pretty good I mean they're single sided so you can use uh, a lot of mediums here you just have to make sure if you're using markers to you know put several papers or cardstock on or, or a cutting mat to protect the other image yeah it's 
so this is pretty much um, all mermaids jellyfish mermaid yeah. okay so this is Serena by Mardel Rubio another one by Mardel Rubio is called Bursting Midnight Enchantment Mascara So his illustration, illustrations are very interesting to me, and it's like uh, dreamlike, you know. It's like uh, it's not something you see in normal life or everyday life. <laughs> normal life. It's like hmm. and you have a cat, and you have guys in the picture. Yeah, so a lot of beautiful illustrations on this one too. So this is Mascara by Mardel Rubio. The last of Mardel Rubio's books I have is The Zodiac Color. This is his latest book that came out on Amazon.com. I forgot to mention that um, on each of his books except for the Christmas one, it did come with a cardboard that you can stick in the back of the um, paper. So, um, like if you're using markers or something, it won't bleed through to the other page. But I noticed that the paper on this book um, is smoother than the previous two. So, um, I haven't colored in this, but I'm sure the paper is fine. You can make it work. They're single-sided too, so I mean you can use other mediums. So, this is the um, Zodiac themed uh, coloring book. I think they have the Chinese. Yeah, the Chinese um, horoscope and the Western horoscope. So you have guys and girls. I think there was a boy in here too. So this would be good for the year of the pig. Yeah, and I forgot to um, show in the other books that they also have um, a pull-out page for you to color. This one's really beautiful. Yeah. Okay, so this is Zodia Color by Mardel Rubio. The next book I want to share with you is called Flowers and Gems by Grazia Salvo. This one also comes with a cardboard to stick behind your page. Um, and this paper is not like the um, Zodia Color one. Uh, it's different. It's even different from um, Mardel's previous one. They're all, they're all from the same uh, publisher. Let's see, there's uh, Phoenix, Phoenix Amulet Publishing. So, but I've seen a lot of people do awesome colorings in here. I mean, it's grayscale, a uh, slightly grayscale, so you can just lay uh, markers and leave it as it is, or I mean, you can continue on and put um, what is it, uh, pencils on top also, which is um, something I would probably do. Um, if I use markers. Yeah, and I don't know if this one has anything in the back. Nope. Yeah, so a lot of beautiful um, portraits of women in this book. And it's called Flowers and Gems by Grazia Salvo. The next book I want to share is called Hidden Paradise Adult Coloring Book by Chris Lopez. It is also um, published by uh, Phoenix Amulet Publishing. Same with uh, The Flowers and Gem uh, by Grazia Salvo and Mardel Rubio um, coloring books. Um, so, the, yeah, so they all come spiral bound with the cardboard. And these, uh, this um, book is like a mix of, uh, uh, they have fantasy, like this little, you know, it is um, imp or a gremlin. They have different scenes, women, underwater castle, a beautiful woman, a warrior, let's say a warrior princess. So it's a it's a wide mix of um, illustrations. So you'll find something that you like in here. Yeah. So this is Hidden Paradise Adult Coloring Book by Chris Lopez. 
The next book I want to share with you is called Moon Blossoms by Katrina Payan, an art book you can color. I believe Katrina Payan is a Filipina illustrator. Um, in this book, she um, creates images of um, different women from different cultures. Uh, with their traditional um, dresses. Yeah, and I believe I bought this on Amazon.com. Um, it did sell, sell out for a bit. I don't know if it came back. Um, you can always just check there or it might be out on Etsy also. So this is Moon Blossoms by Katrina Payan. So I'm going to start showing um, a bigger sized books and I'll start with the Sweet Shop Coloring Book illustrated by Chris Price. These are um, a lot of one-sided pages so you think you can pretty much use um, any kind of medium. I forgot which YouTube uh, channel I watched where she showed um, all the different kinds of mediums um, and which one is good. Um, but since they're one-sided, I mean, you can always come in markers and then go pencils on top or just stick with markers because some of them are, it's a bit um, grayscaled. Yeah. So a lot of fun images to color in this book. So this is the Sweet Shop Coloring Book, illustrated by Chris Price. The next book I want to share is called Coloring Cute by the Klutz Brand. This is a book that was given to me um, by my cousin. She gave this to me as a, um, it was either a, a Mother's Day present or a um, birthday present. And it comes with um, colored pencils. I did color in here, but um, they were taken by my, um, see, you see, um, taken by my next door neighbor's granddaughter when she came over to play with my son and saw me coloring and we just colored together here and then she took the pages with her that she wanted. So yeah, so this is the Coloring Cute um, Editors of Klutz by the Editors of Klutz. The next book um, is called The Coloring Book of Cards and Envelopes, A Year of Celebrations. It is illustrated by Rebecca Jones. And I have um, colored some of the cards and given out, sent them out. <laughs> but I think I got too um, ambitious when um, I tried to color <laughs> the back or the inside part of the envelope. So yeah, now I'll just put like a pastel and then I'll spray it so it doesn't smear or anything. Yeah, so it's a, it's a great book um, with all the different kind of cards that you can um, color and give. And it comes with stickers in the back. So uh, this is The Coloring Book of Cards and Envelopes, A Year of Celebrations by Rebecca Jones. Okay, so the next book I want to share with you is um, The Classical Arrangements Victorian coloring page pages by Anna Griffin. Um, this was given by, to me by my sister-in-law. She just happened to find this book at, I believe they're at Michael's. She took my, my daughters out uh, for some craft shopping. Yeah, so it's a lot of um, kind of like um, wallpaper uh, sections to color. And I believe there's like uh, duplicates. I don't rem remember how many um, sets of du duplicates. So, yeah, and I used watercolor. So, <laughs> yep. So this is um, Anna Griffin's classical arrangements, Victorian coloring pages. The next book I want to share with you is by Anastasia Eli Coldariva, and it is called Mysteria. I showed this in my um, latest coloring book haul. So you can see how beautiful the images are, her illustrations. It's 
gorgeous. So this is Anastasia Ellie Holderiva, Mysteria. And the next book is the HBO Game of Thrones coloring book. And all the illustrations here you'll find in the Game of Thrones series on HBO. Um, it does say who illustrated it. It is um, line art. Um, by Alan Jefferson and Adriana Mello, but um, it's based on the photography um, of the series. So, so you have the Iron Throne, the King's Landing. I mean, I just know for me, when I do color in here, it probably take me a couple or three weeks. <laughs> just to uh, color it in. Yeah. Okay, so this is the HBO Game of Thrones coloring book. The next book I want to share is the Vertical Worlds coloring book by Abby Dacre. And this book is just so interesting to me. It's so different from the other coloring books I have. It is long and it has like different section. Like this one is called the Vertical Greenhouse and you have the Vertical Cathedral. The Art Museum. Yeah, so there's a, a lot of illustrations showing um, like different buildings. They even have a cruise ship, I think, in here. They have an aquarium. So, yeah. It's a fun, fun book to color. Um, this is called Vertical Worlds Coloring Book by Abby Dacre. The next book I want to share is Colin Thompson's, and I Google translated the title um, as Fantasy Coloring Book. If that is incorrect, please let me know the correct title. Um, I was very attracted to the art, um, his uh, illustrations. I think this is his, like, uh, I don't know if it was always black and white. Um, I don't really know that much about the illustrator, but I was very drawn to his, um, to his coloring book because it was so interesting, so different, and yeah. Like if you look um, into his pictures, you just find something. Just, you know, like the little stairs that comes down. And just like little details in his um, illustrations. Yeah. Okay, so this is Colin Thompson's Fantasy Coloring Book. The next book I want to share is um, Joe Benitez's Lady Mechanica. This is a steampunk coloring book for ladies and gentlemen of all ages. Yeah. I really love his drawings. So, um, I don't know if this was, I'm thinking this was a, like a comic strip or story. I don't know if it says it in here, but uh, a graphic novel, Lady Mechanica. So, um, yeah, I have never read it, so, but I really love his um, artwork. I would love the color in here. Okay, so this is Joe Benitez, Lady Mechanica. For this past uh, Christmas, um, so it's uh, from the, his graphic novel, and it's his illustrations from his stories. I really love the illustrations. Yeah. 
it looks slightly grayscaled in the um, details. Yeah, beautiful book. So this is Joe Benitez, Lady Mechanica, Steampunk Coloring Book 2. The next book is Coloring Europe, Vive la France, a coloring book tour of French cuisine, uh, French culture, cuisine, and architecture. It is um, illustrated by Lee Il San. Yeah, I, um, I, I got this book because it was like one-sided pages and I wanted to use um, watercolor in this book. I'm still slowly um, trying wa watercolor and just uh, trying to get more confidence in using them. Uh, yeah, and I love France. I mean, I've, I've only been there. I was there for um, probably like four days, but my my oldest, my two oldest daughters, um, they were one and three at the time, and we didn't really get to look around that much. So we just went to Euro Disney twice. <laughs> so we ended up going to Euro Disney for two days straight and then we went back to Germany um, when my husband um, my husband was uh, stationed there so these are yeah you know if I ever get a chance to go back to France I'd love to see all the like finally get to go up on the Eiffel Tower because when we went there um, I guess it was a, a French national holiday and they closed it and everyone was in the park so yeah Really, really lovely book. So this is Coloring Europe, a Vive la France by Lee Il Sun. So the next book is also by Lee Il Sun called Coloring Europe, Charming London, a coloring book tour of England's iconic capital. Yeah. So I got this book also to do watercolor and plus I've always wanted to visit England in Scotland um, we didn't get to um, travel that far um, when my husband was stationed in Germany because he was gone um, in deployment for about um, a year or six months to a year I can't remember but um, yeah so it's a, one of my dreams to um, visit England or London <laughs> London's in England yeah, so this is Coloring Europe, Charming London, a coloring book tour of England's iconic capital. The next book is by Daria Song um, called The Mysterious Mansion. It is a mind bending activity book, and I guess uh, it's a fairy tale, so you can read along and you can color the black and white areas if you want. Yeah. Really beautiful uh, illustrations and painting. It's one that two page spread you can color. Yeah, so they're divided into chapters and then here's yeah, there's different activities throughout the book. And I did show this on my uh, coloring book haul, so this is the Mysterious Mansion by Daria Song. The next book I want to share with you is called The Book of Beasts, Color and Discover. Um, I was lucky to find this, it was I think it was like five, a little less than five dollars on Amazon and I went ahead and picked it up and I was surprised that it was the hardcover one. So yeah, I like it, it has all the um, description of the different beasts. And then they're in different, like I think it was like one is fire, earth, like air is the other one. Where do we have it? Here's wind. Yeah. It's a lovely book to have. Fantastical Beast. So this is the book of beasts, color and discover. And did I say who it was illustrated by? Now illustrated by Angela Riza. 
My next book is, uh, I think it's my heaviest um, coloring book. It's the Harry Potter A Cinematic Gallery, 80 Hour Original Images to Color and Inspire. I believe I have a flip through of this on my Instagram. So, yeah, so you can find um, images from the movies. Yeah, so it goes through all the movies. And there are, there are some um, fold out pages. Let's see if I can find one. And they also have a little, um, um, like a bookmark thing. There we go. Oh, I thought this was a full out. Oh no, here it is. So you have the, fam the black family tree. The house of black. Yeah, it's a really beautiful book. It has a lot of images from the movies. And um, I do have a reference book that I can use to uh, help me color um, the images in here. Let me bring it out. Uh, <laughs> So I have this big book. This is what I use to flatten out my pages. It is the Harry Potter Page to Screen, A Complete Filmmaking Journey. This was a Costco book. Um, my sister gifted this to me. I bought the same book and gifted her the same one. So it's like, you know, we bought it for each other. But in here you have um, scenes from the movies. So I can use some of the images here to color in the... Um, coloring book. Just on bridge. Yeah. So, go ahead and put this aside. Okay, so I don't know how many minutes I have left, so I'll go ahead and start um, just my, my three watercolor books. So, I have the Prima Princesses. And uh, like I said earlier, I'm slowly getting into a uh, watercolor. So far, I just did um, watercolor backgrounds and watercolor as a base, but I haven't tried like skin or hair or flowers <laughs> and birds. So I'm like uh, slowly easing into it, um, uh, trying to get comfortable. So I, I know there's like um, two in this. Um, the Prima Princess, but I only got this one just to um, practice. And then I think in the back of this, they also have bookmarks. Bookmarks. Yeah. Okay, so that's uh, Prima Princesses. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and it's illustrated by Faye Sosaikum. I think, I hope I said that right. But yeah. So this is Prima Princesses. The next one um, is Thailand Escape, a My Colorful Trip Through Exotic Lands. It is illustrated by Jade Gideon and it, the paper is high quality, one-sided, perforated, premium art paper plus five huge fold-out drawings. So yeah, so this is um, uh, the Thailand um, architecture. The arts, you can see, oh, this is nice. Yeah, so I did try a little bit in here, but um, it was mostly leaves <laughs> I was practicing on. So, and so they have some fold out pages. Yeah. So, beautiful book. So this is a uh, Thailand Escape by Jade Gideon. The last book I want to share with you is The Watercolor With Me in the Forest by Dana Fox. This book is also published by the same publishers um, of uh, Jay Gideon's books. Um, this is Page Street Publishing. Dana uh, Fox, she gives um, us uh, watercolor tutorials for wet on dry, wet on wet, painting fur, and ink and wash. 
and she gives you colors that you would want to use and um, the supplies like which size of um, watercolor brushes and other um, supplies that you may need plus the uh, um, detailed instructions on how to achieve um, the image using watercolors so yeah so she does insects birds flowers um, there's a cabin in here also there it is trees they said birds so yeah she gives a lot of um a lot of tutorials on how to use watercolors for different animals and uh, different objects yeah, so this is watercolor with me in the forest by dana fox so I want to thank you all for watching part 3 of my coloring book collection and I hope that you all enjoyed the video. I'm going to continue trying to um, push out the rest of um, the series of my collection, <laughs> coloring book collection. Um, hopefully I'll be done by Thursday um, because Friday is my youngest son's third birthday and so we'll be busy celebrating his birthday Friday and Saturday. Um, yeah so uh just look out for my final video um so you can get the details for my first giveaway and um if there are any books you would like a flip through of please let me know in the comments um before i leave please like comment and subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you all at my next video take care and happy colorings Bye bye